Uh, satellite and radar you see again down across the Gulf South. This is Francine. Francine now a category one hurricane becoming a category two likely before it makes landfall along the central Louisiana coastline and uh, potentially places like Grand Isle. If you remember that name, that was from back in 2001 when Hurricane Ida came through as a category three, actually a category four when it made landfall. Uh, those areas devastated, probably still recovering, and it looks like again there's another high impact storm headed these folks way, including New Orleans and Baton Rouge. Look at these winds up to 90 to 100 miles an hour. That's our wind field for today as this makes landfall late this afternoon, this evening, and then making the push up into the Mississippi Valley and eventually weakening. But the rains, those will last longer. So we do have a hurricane warning in effect for the onset of hurricane winds likely this afternoon and also a storm surge warning and storm surge watch outside of levee protected New Orleans. But of course, we always have to track. You remember what happened with Katrina. You always have to track very closely as to what's going to happen in New Orleans with these uh, could see up to six inches of rain potentially over the next several days across the Gulf South and the lower Mississippi Valley 86 here on Wednesday. 83 for a Thursday, 83 Friday, looking good Saturday, Sunday for the commanders game. And there's that risk of a shower to Monday, especially on into Tuesday. And we do need the rain.